well. Um, that being said, so welcome again to our uh, last webinar of 2021. It's uh, one in English uh, again, uh, because we have uh, Clément uh, as a guest uh, today, I would say the guest of honor. Clément, uh, maybe you can introduce yourself to those who don't yes. know you yet. Yes, of course. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Clément and I am a pre-sales uh, consultant at FEC since uh, couple of years and I'm very glad to present you today our new marketing automation automation uh, solution. Thank you. So Clément will uh, do the live demo and as you are well pretty used uh, with our webinars we start with some some theory uh, um, which I will share with you and this is our okay. Lovely presentation, new style. Um, so it's about the Epsis all-in-one marketing platform. And um, well, Clément has introduced himself uh, already. And in case you missed it, uh, in August we uh, well, Epsis <coughs> joined the FSC group, and um, this means that we uh, have now an in-house um, all-in-one marketing platform uh, under the roof. Um, with not only uh, marketing automation, but also on-site personalization. Um, for those who missed it, um, Epsis serves around 3,000 customers globally, and uh, with Epsis One in 2019, they had a, a very uh, extensive marketing automation solution we'll, we will be showing uh, shortly. Um, well, what is special about Epsis? Epsis is built uh, by marketeers for marketeers. Um, so this is with this philosophy of marketeers. What do they need? What uh, do they want? And in which way do they want it? Uh, and the focus is on enabling a, a great customer journey in an easy and uh, scalable uh, way. And of course, Epsis began somewhere, and it was in 20, uh, 2001, sorry. Um, and they have been becoming the experts in email marketing. And uh, you can, well, you know the different email marketing automation, but this is a data-driven uh, marketing automation solution, focusing, as I said, uh, on the customer journey. That's really the cornerstone uh, of, uh, of, Epsis, uh, of Epsis One. Where is it today? Well, of course, everything evolves, especially since 2001. Uh, we have uh, all kinds of new technologies that, that we that we use uh, since then uh, with the smartphones and, and uh, well, the world has become uh, smaller. But one thing is for sure, email marketing automation is still one of the key cornerstones in, uh, in terms of uh, reaching your uh, audience and targeting your audience in the best way possible, especially uh, today with the GDPR, um, a, a very well data driven uh, marketing solution automation is uh, key. Which brings us, of course, to the FSC group um, with, uh, well, Epsis, you can see on the on the slide. Um, FSC is now present uh, from north to south in the entire uh, uh, Europe area and even uh, right bottom corner you see uh, that we are also having an office in uh, in Hong Kong um, but for uh, I think for us uh, especially the ones who joined today I think uh, and if I saw the names most of you are in one of the European uh, locations <clears throat> Well, in terms of the roadmap, we already showed a little bit this in uh, during the CRM days uh, for those who joined uh, the CRM days live or online. Um, the acquisition of Epsis in August 2021, we already started uh, the, the merge and not only technical, but also uh, staffing the entire organization. We are rebuilding uh, some departments, including the marketing department, I can say, to be more efficient and to be uh, uh, have more um, possibilities for you as a customer. And I saw some technical people, so Christoph also in um, uh, in the in the webinar, uh, and I think he can or also uh, confirm that the 
technical integration is also uh, going well. Uh, and the goal is, of course, to have seamless, seamless uh, integration, which means that you have an inbuilt marketing automation solution within your CRM solution, which should be, well, the best of both worlds. And that leaves with what's in it for you, of course. Um, what's in it for you as a customer of FSC with an integrated Epsis uh, one or marketing automation solution. Well, I'm not going to go over it every bullet point, but it's basically sales and marketing combined the best of both worlds. Of course. What's in Epsis? What's is standard? Well, here are some features that come with Epsis uh, one. So of course I talked about the marketing automation. You have an e-commerce part, email marketing. Uh, you have something to use on your website, cookie tool. Maybe we're going to see it uh, a little later on. Uh, landing pages and forms, SMS marketing, and so on. If you are uh, not convinced, well, we always have a nice slide that, with figures that should convince you why FZ1 is uh, the best solution. Uh, of course, figures are figures, but they're quite impressive uh, if you look at them. Um, but And that's without even uh, the combination with FSC CRM. So uh, let alone what you can do if you have uh, both. Before we dive into the demo, a little use case uh, to show you okay, what is in theory the ID of Epsis One in combination with FSC. So Epsis One, as we said, we, they provide some website tools so you can track the behavior, the track the website behavior. That comes into Epsis One, which will create uh, a specific segment um, of those people of that behavior that, of course, you can de decide yourself. That will trigger a marketing automation flow show. You don't have to do anything yourself. It will send a notification that will go into your CRM as a lead. And then, of course, you can automate or you can do it manual, send targeted emails based on the uh, interest of the lead. That's in short. Of course, you are most interested in uh, the demo and not in hearing me talking all the time. And of, we cannot show everything in the demo. That's uh, that's not possible. But what we claim on will show you is uh, well, Epsis one in practice. So you see it live. Uh, we'll see some use of, of data and uh, how to bring the data into actions. So I think I've been talking way too long, which leads us to the best part of the webinar and that's the live demo. So I would say Clément, the floor is yours. Thank you, Arno, thank you. I share my screen. Can you just confirm, Arno, that you see it? I confirm. Perfect, thank you. So oh, before, yeah. uh, sorry, Clément, I yep. forgot to say before uh, to the attendees, if you have questions I discussed with uh, Clément, you can write them down in, in the chat and after the demo we go back and answer all your questions um, so don't hesitate to write down uh, we'll come back to it <laughs> okay perfect so for this presentation i'm, uh, I'm going to show you how abscis one uh, can help you to detect some new prospects this is actually a typical uh, use case that we are used to meet um, often so let's say now that I have an e-commerce website where I sell uh, there some um, motorcycle equipment. Okay, and I'm very interesting, of course, in following all the people who visit my website. I want to try to catch the names or the information about them, and uh, of course, don't I don't want to let them go away without uh, purchasing uh, anything, of course. So as you understood, to reach uh, these goals, I can use Apsis one. Now uh, let's pretend that Arnaud here is a guy who is very keen on uh, riding his bike. He's a fan, absolutely fine of a motorcycle. 
and I, I heard that uh, he wants uh, to uh, present himself for Christmas, a new jacket, a new leather jacket. So we will go through his uh, Airbit uh, website. So from Google, you will write down the website and go to it. And there he will try to find a new, uh, the new jacket he wants. OK. So you will go through it. Here, for example, leather jacket. He search for some uh, cool ones. I think you will, uh, will take this one. It looks pretty good. Yeah, OK, that's one looks looks good, but uh, unfortunately it's out of stock. So I'm afraid that he needs to, to wait a few more days, maybe. So he will come back later to the to the website. But before leaving the website, maybe why not register to the to the newsletter, right? So we click here down the, in the right corner and you will just fill it in quite simple. His email address, his name. And last name. OK. And he submit the form. OK. So. That was a typical uh, customer behavior. OK, I search for some items. I don't find them. Why not register the newsletter and come back later? All those action and behavior now we'll see all those actions are tracked and monitored into Apsis One. Okay, so now if I connect to the solution over here, I land on the dashboard of Apsis One. Uh, the first objective in the marketing automation tool is to gather maximum of information about the people who visit my website. Therefore, we can find over here in a tab the audience. If I click here, I have a list of profiles split into two different sections, the known profiles and the unknown profiles. The unknown profiles are the people who visit my website. Once you access to my website, I can track you and I know everything you you've done in my website, but so far I don't have I don't have your name or any kind of information about you. I just have your ID. Yeah, okay. I can follow those people thanks to the um, to the cookies they accept when they connect to my website. But nevertheless, if I click on this, for example, this profile, if I open it. I can see all the website interaction he had. And for example, here, these people, I don't have its name so far, but I know that he view and open the newsletter form. Okay, he just view it, but didn't uh, went to the end and uh, submit uh, its info. So this is an unknown profile. If I come back to the list of the profile, on the other hand, I have over here the known profiles. That means that I have at least the name of the contact. The known profiles are the guy, the people who connect to my website and fill the form, so I have their information, but it can be also your contact you have in your uh, FEC CRM. Okay, the list the database of contacts you have in your CRM are synch is synchronized with the marketing automation tool. So here you, be, you will find back your prospect and your client. And you see that, as you can see, I can find back Arno here. If I double click on it, I have some good information about him. For example, the website interaction yet i can see in this timeline that he accessed to my website from google search okay and he went through different 
pages and different uh, items. Okay, so every click, every section you visit on my website, I can follow it. I can see as well that he opened the form, uh, the form section. He view it. He start to fill it in. Went to the end because he submit the form and did one more time here. Okay. And of course, if the marketing automation send him some uh, emails, I have here his response data. Okay, the marketing sent him an email. The email is delivered, and Arno opened the email. So I have all all the interaction and behavior of Arno over here in the profile. Um, once we have a profile with all with all kind of information, I can use those information to create some segments. The segments are the list of contacts, for example, the list of a new uh, subscriber. I can personalize the content. I can send to those contacts. For example, if I know visit some items relating to the, the jacket, I can send him some specific email about the jackets. And of course, I can trigger some marketing automation flows. And we will see this right away. So if I go in this section, marketing automation, I will show you how the marketing automation flow uh, works. I've created here one flows which is a newsletter sign up. I open. And as you can see, the conception tool, of the, the flows are pretty uh, easy to use and pretty easy to, to learn. This is quite visual. You just have to add some blocks following each other and you have an actual flow. So in, in our case, this flow is uh, concerning the subscription of a newsletter. So the first step is here to listen for an event, which is the newsletter uh, sub subscription form submitting. Once someone uh, submit the form, the next step is that I will update the profile by adding some tags to the profile. Here I know will be tagged as a newcomer and a newsletter. And I can use later on, I will see later on, I can use those two tags to create some specific content or create specific workflows. After that, automatically, the solution will send them two emails. Okay. Let's now, let's see now how, how I can uh, build and create those uh, emails. You will see this is quite simple. If I go to the section, I will create a new email. I give, I give a name. Okay, and here I can use some uh, predefined templates. I can use my own template, of course or I can use a theme template. You can access to a kind of library where you can use our template we offer uh, to our clients. For example, I can use this one. I think this is a subject of today, Christmas, Merry Christmas template. And this is an actual uh, email builder, very easy to use. You just need to drag and drop some element. For example, if I want to have a button over here, I can use drag and drop the button. Okay, if I want to have an image over here, the same, I can use the drag and drop. Okay, so here I have an email. Okay. If I come back here, we saw that uh, one really simple uh, use case, the, this one, the newsletter sign up. This is very simple. 
but of course it can be much more sophisticated. If I show you another example, for example, I can open this one. This is quite more uh, sophisticated. Uh, I will go through it uh, very quickly. So the first step is to listen for uh, for an event. Okay, one more time. I can add by adding by clicking on this uh, this uh, green plus adding a new step, a new block. Okay, which uh, can be an email. I can send SMS an SMS to my client to my prospect. Of course, if I have uh, the mobile uh, the phone number of him and i can add some actions i can update the profile by adding some tags to the profile or changing its uh, attributes i can check if the profiles uh, answer to some uh, question i can use a timer i can split my flows i can send some notification i can wait for an event etc etc here i send an email OK, I wait for an event, which is the, the opening of the email. So I've, I, I can check if the contact open or not my email. If you open, this is this green uh, split I will use. So yes. OK, so if you open, I can update the profile. I check if the profile uh, answer to some uh, questions, some attributes. If not, I send another email. If yes, I send an SMS and I end the flow. You see, so I built up uh, some um, some specific workflow. Of course, the integration with uh, your FEC CRM is at the end of the workflow is to send a notification to the sales rep, uh, which is um, which is one of your the your your user of your CRM. So, for example, if I click after this email on the plus, I can use integrate integration, and you will see I will be able to send a notification. So it will create a lead plus a notification in your FEC CRM. Okay. So I think uh, it was a pretty pretty simple uh, use case today. I don't have uh, any more time, unfortunately, to see it. But what you need to remember now that is that uh, Apsis One, this uh, marketing automation uh, solution, allows you to detect some new prospect. It was the example of today. Okay, I know fill a form, I detect the prospect, and after the solution. Uh, send him automatically some emails, and I have the profiles of Arno now in my solution. But it also allows you to uh, grow your existing customer experience because this solution is fully and will be fully integrated with your FEC CRM. So you can uh, use your own contact, your database of contact, your prospect, and your clients. OK, to build some workflows to send them automatically some uh, some communication, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think that's uh, pretty it. I um, I hope you enjoy this uh, quick and uh, short presentation. But now if you have any question, please, uh, please ask in the chat. And I will be glad to to answer. Thank you, Clément, for the uh, for the introduction into Apsis One. And as uh, Clément said, it will be fully integrated, which gives you, well, at least for me as a marketeer, it gives me lots of more opportunities to uh, be uh, well to you as a customer to be more relevant to send you more relevant information. Uh, but I think for you as a customer, if you if you choose for Apsis One in combination with with FEC, you indeed have. Your leads that that are looking at the website, they they come straight away in your CRM. I can I can say, for instance, out of experience with uh, some tools that we have, uh, we do get notifications on 
things or people that visit our website, but we have to put it in manually that that will be over with FSIS one that will be automatically in your in your CRM solution, which is way uh, more convenient and you will be much more quicker on the ball um, when you um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, towards your uh, prospects um, and leads. We do have some questions. Um, I will go. Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, Mathieu, uh, is there a way to test the email builder to see how it compares to our current email platform? Do you know that if we have something available, claim on for our customers? To test the email builder, um, I think we, yeah, we can uh, let you uh, uh, a test uh, platform, test environment. Mm -hmm. I think, yes, 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 of course. Uh, Manfred, uh, great demo. So that's uh, it's compliment to you, uh, Clément. Is it possible and easy to add your own designed content blocks to the library? Yep, of course, yes. Here, over here, you can add uh, your own templates, of course, and you can, um, if I go here, if I create a new one, up, your template, and you can use your your own template, your HTML uh, code, if you have uh, some yet, and you can use it, uh, of course. Okay. Manfred, is that uh, answering your question? Um, let, let us know. Uh, yeah, great. Christophe uh, Powell's uh, has a technical question, Clément. How do you integrate Epsis One into your website? Does it just include a script tag? Actually, this is uh, here. You can use, you, you can uh, create from Apsis One some forms, as I, as I've done uh, with this one, of course. And you can uh, just set up the cookies, the cookies banner from Apsis One. So you create you create your cookie banners, and you decide where you want to put the cookie banners in a. In a header or in the bottom of your page or in the center of your page, and after that, after that, uh, by building a, a script, you can follow every kind of section you have in your uh, in your website. Okay, for example, if someone click on this section, I can I can follow the people who click here with the script the, the script I will uh, I will create from Mapsis one. So, so for those, yeah, we all know these cookie uh, cookie consent uh, buttons, um, and, and we always click uh, OK because we want to get rid of it. But uh, remember that uh, if you do that, there's a whole lot of things behind it, including these these kinds of tracking. Um, so, yeah, you have of course cookie banners that are quite generic that you can find everywhere uh, some plugins to to WordPress websites if you have one but Epsis one provides a cookie builder that immediately allows all the data that the people visit on your website that directly comes into Epsis one so um, that's a, a, a interesting service uh, I think from a marketing uh, perspective uh, Mathieu has uh, a, another Question and that is, can Epsis uh, be deployed over several website linking to only one FSC? Nope, you can uh, you can plug a uh, different website by using just one Epsis one account. If I go here, I can switch. Um, I, I, well, I don't have any any website uh, other website in my uh, environment of uh, demonstration, but you can. Uh, you can plug different websites into the same Apsis One account. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any example uh, in this environment, unfortunately. But it's uh, it's clear for uh, Mathieu. Uh, so, are there any other questions? Mm, I don't think so. Somebody's not not happy with much. Um, 
Uh, uh, buses, uh, we are looking for an application to send automatically uh, personalized emails with an attachment to all our contact persons with a specific profile. Would this also be possible, like FEC already showed me with MailChimp? I don't know. I don't know very clearly if we can send attachments or specific attachments. Of course, you can personalize personalize uh, the content you send, depending on the profiles and their attributes. But I, uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will just uh, ask the question internally, and uh, I will come back uh, to you later. I know. Do do. Will you remember me the the name of the yeah contact? Please. It's bus. Yeah. Uh, bus. Buses. Right. Uh, someone who really joins uh, the webinar. So I have the question from bus. I see someone is uh, mature typing. Um, he gives a suggestion to 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 bus. Uh, might be more interesting to set up a landing page with the file so you can track more slash better. Yeah, that could also be a solution indeed. Um, any other questions? The, no, there, uh, yeah, but there was one question. Uh, yeah, 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 sorry, there is I one. forgot. Uh, thank you, Claude. Uh, when will the integration with FC be complete? Do you have a timing or maybe? <laughs> Christoph, maybe you have a timing. Yeah. Do you know this? Uh, for me, I don't have a specific uh, specific date, unfortunately. But I know it's. Um, I think it's a matter of a few weeks, maybe, no more. Well, yeah, the goal was by the end of the year. But uh, of course, I don't know. It's handled by the R and D team, and I yeah. uh, represent the project team. And and so it's not custom. It's really part of the standard product range. Eh? Yeah. OK, yeah, yeah, clear uh, indeed. Uh, uh, so, well, not a really fixed date yet, as I understand, but it should uh, be a rather uh, a matter of uh, weeks than months, as I understand well. Now, one choice. Still typing, so we wait for that. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll need to contact our account manager for pricing. Yes, indeed, uh, Mathieu. In terms of pricing, in terms of possibilities in uh, what in the FSC version you have uh, today, uh, please contact your um, account manager, customer success executive, uh, as it uh, is called today. Uh, he or she will uh, be able to help you further um, with this. Um, so don't hesitate to contact uh, them if you are interested. Uh, you can also, uh, if you have a question about the webinar, uh, you can also uh, send an email to me uh, to uh, avi at fsc.com. And as always, you will receive uh, the handout of the slides, so you have a little uh, more time to go over it. And of course, a replay of the entire webinar. So. If you want to share it internally, uh, you can uh, share the demo again. Uh, Buzz is still typing something. We wait for that. No, some doubts. No. Oh. Uh, can uh, can uh, Lawrence uh, does EPSA support a preference center for people to indicate which topics they are open to receiving more info about? Uh, here in the audience, if I go to the profile, the known profile, of course, oh, no. here I can add this contact into different kind of segments. And depending on the segment or the tag of the contact, I can send to this contact specific uh, content in relation in a specific topic. So I will be using those segments. But that that's the the, the data driven part of 
uh, of abscess in, in combination also with, with FSC that you really can target uh, your customers lead with information that they're interested in and not with things that are totally not, because that improves, uh, well, the, the retention uh, rate, of course. All right. Um, I think we are pretty much through all the questions. Uh, Clément, I want to thank you very much uh, for your demo. It was very, uh, very clear. Nice air first introduction. I want to thank every attendee today and all the attendees uh, in the past uh, this year for joining us during uh, one of our webinars, our user clips or our events. Um, we hope to see you again next year and hopefully a little bit more in real life as well uh, let's hope that will be possible more but we will continuing doing the webinars if you have suggestions for your webinars well you know where to find me avi at uh, fsc.com send in your sort your suggestions that you would like to be interested to get some more information on could be fsc could be abscess could be uh, anything else and uh, we'll see what we can do to our program of the webinars. So for now, thank you all very much. I wish you a nice day and a good end of the year and uh, see you next year. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.